Hello everyone, I'm Opposite the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video I want to talk about the land vehicles in Battlefield 5 and whether they are better or worse than the vehicles that were in previous Battlefield games. Now, it's my opinion that Battlefield 1 probably had the best vehicles in Battlefield and now I believe that title should clearly go to Battlefield 5. So let me explain, Battlefield 5 has a ton of vehicles in it. And I really like the selection they have. They have the vehicles for the Axis and the Allies, and they actually function differently. It's not just the same tank, but with, like, two different skins. It's, they're actually different tanks. They feel different. Same with the planes. There's a lot of planes, too. And I think that the limited ammo really is nice. And the specialization system is nice, too. But... I noticed that, you know, in Battlefield 4 and 3, you were kind of using the same amount of vehicles. You had the heavy tanks, I think there was maybe light tanks, the LAV, the two planes, you know, you had those. Battlefield 1 shook it up by saying, okay, instead of having one of this tank and one of this vehicle and one of this vehicle, we're going to give you this vehicle spawn and you get to pick one of whatever these you want. And they were specialized too, mind you, these vehicles, there were versions of them. Battlefield 5 took it a step further by completely monopolizing the system. They added more vehicles, which is great that they added more vehicles. There's, it's totally fun. And that's where I think one of the things about Battlefield 5 shines is that there's more vehicles, and they all feel different, and you can get good at them. You know, playing as a Tiger tank, the biggest tank, you know, as a noob to the vehicles, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick the Tiger tank. That's the biggest tank. That's the one that's going to hit the hardest. It's going to do the most, most damage. And then I realized if I picked a light tank, a really light tank, like the Panzer, or I don't know if it was a Panzer, but the T-38, that I could go fast, really fast, in fact, that if I moved the right way, I could outpace the rate that someone turned their tank turret. So I couldn't get hit. And I could also use it to get to locations faster and help out uh, objectives that are falling easier. I could help out by you know, maybe taking out a couple people along the way, or distracting an enemy tank and keep it from moving over to another objective. So the vehicles, their their uses are definitely becoming more and more defined in Battlefield 5. And again, the limited ammo, I love the limited ammo. You can't just like, smoke grenade, smoke grenade, smoke grenade, smoke grenade, and you can't just keep shooting over and over and over and over again. You actually have to kind of keep an eye on your ammo and build the ammo stations. And it's nice because if you know where the ammo stations are and you can kind of communicate with your allies and keep track of how tanks are doing, then you can cut someone off and kill them because they ran out of shells to shoot. It's really nice. I like it. I feel like now with the vehicles, there's more strategy than just being in a tank and like moving it to the point that needs it the most. There's more than one use for the tank as well as all the other vehicles that are more LAV-like. Even the flak tank can do good at taking out infantry if you use it right. So let me know what you guys think about the tanks and the vehicle. I know I said a lot about the tanks, but the planes are the same way. The planes are amazing. I still have not played enough with the planes. I want to play with more planes. I really love the way that they fly, and I feel like if you want to and if you need to, it is actually possible to use fighter planes to take out infantry. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Battlefield 5. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do to the games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Steam Blog or Steam Post of whatever I decide to make.